to Wumba. Does that mean Garvin's more life? Get out of your seat and on your feet. Make some noise because this is the ultimate sprint car championship. This is the ultimate place to race sprint cars in this country. And we put on the ultimate show for you. Look at your front row. Hiroshi, Bob, McHugh and Adam. And if that doesn't make the hair stand up on the back of your neck, I've got nothing that can help you. So McHugh, good job. And I'll field your top three in points. Could you lead the ultimate sprint car championship? Stack, packed and racked for 35. Big laps into Woomera and we're green. And Adar gets a fly. McHugh goes to the middle and wheel stands on turn two. Morofsky back to third, tries to throw the slide jump. We charge down the back straight away, Macca. Yeah, first lap in the books and it goes to Adard. McHugh gets in the wheel tracks with his great mate Cody Morofsky on his hammer. Here comes Robbie Farr. Ryan Newton, the superstar, right in behind him. Great battle between Brock Helen and Joy Corbett. Corbett under attack from Oldfield on the top side. I've no idea how he saved that. That was messy midfield, but we stay green. And I tell you what, we're going to be in lap traffic in five laps. Attard, McHugh, and Morosky, your front three. Robbie Farr runs fourth. Back to right, Newton in fifth. That is Callum Walker, your top six. And we're already in lap traffic with four laps down. Attard to the top side of three and four. McHugh going with him. And you'll watch the 53 and the seven go to work in lap traffic here on a helter-skelter evening at Toowoomba. Oh, Attard right onto the back end of Alan Woods as they come into the 3 4 turn. That allows McHugh now right on the tail tank as they come down into 1 and 2. Attard dives to the bottom. McHugh looks for a slingshot down the back straight. Tries to tuck the car in. Oh! And, he the and what a move by Attard to save the car and keep rolling. You are kidding me. Jesse Attard, you are a superstar. Dumsney. Got in hot and turned the car around and turned four. Such a pivotal moment in tonight's A main. Let's go to the ultimate screen and watch how that unfolded. So Dumsey turned the car around, Madsen managed to miss, and look at Attard. Jam the brakes and keep the car rolling. I'm looking at ridiculous shots of McHugh with the front wheels off the deck. Matthew Paul, photography on the job. Let's go to the ultimate screen, Macker, and have a look at this start from Lockie McHugh. This was ridiculous. Look at McHugh. Pick the wheels up off the deck. We're going to play that again and slow that down. Holy smokes. He blazed it in through the middle and found plenty of purchase off the top. It just hooks up here and... Wow. And launches it down the back straight away. How many times have we seen him do it here, though? He uses the cush off over here near the pit gate, starts using the racetrack like a motocross bike. Yep. So six laps in, 29 a run, and we're in lap traffic in just four laps from that last start. Attard, if he's going to win this, he's going to have his work cut out for him. He did a lot of racing in California during the off-season. And the young man from New South Wales leads us back on the way. We pull the trigger one more time and it's Adard leading the way as he has done from the green. McHugh in the wheel tracks for Roski back to far and Ryan Newton. Then we go back to Callum Walker, Jock Goodger. Nick Sellers the next one in the queue and Steve Lyons rounds him out. Lap starting to wind down. We are now starting to get a bit of a freight train happening here at Toowoomba as Seller goes down underneath Lyons for a move. Yes, Seller with a good move. Through on lines as Lyons tries to fight back as we look at Ryan Newton on the ultimate screen under pressure from Walker and now Goodyear to the inside. This is crucial in the points battle because as it runs, McHugh would probably take the lead at the end of tonight. Goodyear back around the outside of Callum Walker and they're all going to set up shop on the top of the racetrack. It'll be slide job to line if you want to make your way through. And Tart back around the outside of Hoffman. He's going to range up onto the back of Darmsney and Benny Atkinson Jr. There you see Atkinson Jr. go to the bottom and it just blocks out at the wrong time and look at McHugh really mid. Lucky 
Lucky McHugh now, right in the middle of this flat traffic. Morosky goes with him on the top side to get around the outside of the Aeroflow D number two machine of Betty Atkinson Jr. And they go two for one as they swing around the outside and set sail after Attar down the front straight. This time, Jared McHugh is getting closer. Down the back straight into three and four. Yes, sound the Jaws music because the Sharks are coming and Attar flows it in way too hard. And it does a wheel stand of all wheel stands. McHugh around the outside of the lead, but the caution will save him. The yellow flag for Randy Morgan at the bottom of turn two will save Attard. Oh, the McHugh fans are going to feel ripped off after that one. Holy smokes, Attard got in way too hot in three and four. And then flat footed it off the corner and picked the front wheels up off the deck. He was an absolute passenger down the main straightaway because he couldn't see where he was going. And then the yellow flag comes out just as McHugh gets to the front. Let's go to the ultimate screen. So this is Adart on the lap car of Alan Woods. Gets in too hot and then drives it off the top of the track. Front wheels in the deck all the way down the straight. And the yellow lights come on and Attard will take his spot back at the front of the field. And Lockie goes, does that really happen? <laughs> Bad pun, I know. <laughs> you, don't is, employ, you don't employ me for my good looks, mate. That is some of your worst, Macca. <laughs> That's shocking. But the cue. Well, Attard knows he's there. Roski's not out of this yet. Robbie Farr, veteran, rolling around, just sizing up the competition. Does he have anything for the front three? Newton has been good all night. Then back to your series leader, Jock Goodyear, in the T22 for Platinum Prince. Will want to pick another position or two off before the out end of this one. Lights go down on Good Friday for the Club Hotel Easter Challenge. And Adart goes early. And doesn't that catch Morosky napping? Two go to the top, two to the bottom. Look at Ryan Newton around the outside of Robbie Farr. Wow. And Goodger can smell in the water. He goes past Farr as well, Maka. Yeah, Jock Goodger went past Farr like he was standing still. Farr, he's trying to come back at the number seven machine. Starts to lose a little bit of ground as the front five now start to break away from the rest of the field. Far won't let him too far out of the sights. The cellar team running nose to tail. Oh, Walker comes to the infield. Problems for the 33. Yeah, Walker is out of this one. He will make his way to the infield. Attard about to be on lap traffic again. The pure white number 53 for Supreme Poultry goes to the top side. He's sizing up lap traffic. Carl Hoffman's first on the meal ticket. Oh, Ryan Newton gets it too hot in three and four and manages to save the car. That was ridiculous. Whoa, oh, look at that. Attack just breathed in between the fence and Alan Woods. How he pulled that off, I have no idea. McHugh goes to the top side as well. As they all slide down underneath Benny Atkinson Jr. Have a look at this, Jared McHugh now starting to come. Attard, you have company in Lockie McHugh. Get your skates on in the 53 because the Western Truck Group MQ7 is coming. Jesse Attard down the main straightaway. There's 14 to run for the 53. Blows it in high. McHugh switch back to the inside. Yellow oh, again. No. Brock Hallett around in turn three and four. And Lockie McHugh must be going, what have I got to do? Oh my goodness. Attard saved again. Thank uh, you, Morosky. Could you up to fourth if you don't mind? This sets us up for a grandstand finish in the Ultimate Sprint Car Championship tomorrow night. Attard waiting late now. He went early on the last start. And another beautiful restart from the 53. Goes to the top in one and two. McHugh, Morosky, could you? New far, then Lions and Oldfield coming into this one. 13 to run. And look at the battle for third marker. Could you around the Whoa. outside? Mor 
Roski almost had his nose cut off by Jock Goodger. That allows Ryan Newton now to have a good look on the inside. Can he slide drop up in front? Yes, he can, but Moroski comes back but doesn't have enough horsepower. Stevie Lyons, he can now see a little invite to the battle going on in front. The top three breaking away. Attar, McHugh, back to Goodger. Ryan Newton on the top side and Moroski almost knocks on the side panel. And your series leader, Jock Goodyear, is coming from Launceston. It's hard, buddy, as Adar gets the fence. Your leader got the fence in for that time. They're all bagging down the concrete as now Benny Jr. gets the fence on the back straight. Adar still leads. McHugh's second and his series rival. Jock Goodyear looks to the inside. That's seven to run. Or oh, eight to run, I should say. Adar still leading McHugh and Goodyear to go hammer and top to the end back up. McHugh again, starting to get right onto the tail tank of the 53, sweeps to the top side, looks for a slingshot, out of two, Benny Atkinson's in the way, has to get out of it, sweeps back to the top, Adar brushes the fence, McHugh stays up the top in the penthouse. Good, to the inside, Adar goes the slide along, McHugh back to the inside, and Lucky McHugh will take the lead, Good, you goes with him, Ryan Newton buying in now, Adar back to third with far to run. And Lucky McHugh switches back from turn two. Look at Goodyear. Go to the top now, Macca. In the course of 400 metres, the lead changed twice. McHugh now leads. Slower car in front. Forks up in front of McHugh. He has to get out of it. Jock Goodyear under attack again from Adard. Slow job. Oh! And Adard upside down. Newton hammers in as well. And that was a chain reaction of events. And a wonderful night comes to an abrupt end for Jesse Adard in the 53. He had to throw something at it, Jared. He was uh, starting to lose ground with the leaders. And that slide job just, he banged the fence a couple of times earlier, didn't he? Yeah, he was pushing the limit the whole night. Toowoomba as he climbs through the car. How about some noise for Jesse Adard? I reckon that's the loudest I've heard a Toowoomba crowd cheer for a driver in a while. Adard has been impressive all night long and through everything. Adard, let's go to the ultimate screen. As Adard threw the slide job, it just got in too hot there was nothing to hold him and newton left with nowhere to go maca yeah it was becoming a dog fight the top five wasn't it uh really starting to scramble for a bit of real estate and racing room as they come out of uh, turns one and two so let's go Different to the angle. alternate angle oh and Ryan Newton, unfortunately, the uh, the unlucky recipient. Yeah, hard luck. Hard luck. You don't, It doesn't get any better when you look at it the second and third time. And these two guys parked up here on the back straightaway, side by side. The mind games begin. Goodyear has dug himself out of a hole. He started deep in this one. And he pulls up beside Lockie McHugh. These two lead the series. Goodyear, a 16-point lead over Lockie McHugh. Muroski will run third of the restart. But Goodyear has come on song at the right time of the night with four to run. And Goodyear actually rolled out of the throttle then when Kratzman had that big moment in front of the leaders. So Kratzman had the car sideways across the track. McHugh probably stayed in it. Prop, like proper hard, didn't lift at all. And Goodyear played probably the sensible route and went, well, I'll just think about my points lead and roll out here. And that's why Adard had a big go into turn three because Goodyear lost a heap of momentum out of turn two that time. And these two sit on the track side by side. It, it's tempting to walk over with a mic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be that man with four laps to go. Just that's sees what's good. underneath it at the moment. And the tyre holds together. So the NQ7 of Lockie McHugh. With question marks over the right rear tyre. You can see that slightly darker black line on the outside of the right rear tyre. And do you know who else will see that? The bloke rolling behind 
in position number two, Jock Goodger. Has the eyes on. Lights go out. Four to run in the penultimate round of the Ultimate Sprint Car Championship. It's the Club Hotel Easter Challenge on Good Friday. McHugh, Goodger, Moroski, stacked, packed and racked once again. And we are green here in Toowoomba. Good start from McHugh. Goodger goes with him as does Moroski. Moroski wheels up coming out of turn four. Here comes Steve Lyons. Has a good look underneath the SRV 27. Moroski asking the question of 900 horsepower. Gets the answer he's looking for. And will hang on to third place. Goodger railing the top side. Having a good look at McHugh as they enter into the one, two turn and two to run, Jared. Lyons got the fence and dropped back to P5. Oldfield in six. But your front three cars streaking away. There's one to run for McHugh. Goodger and Moroski going with him. But Lockie McHugh down the back straightaway for the final time. Through three and four, we'll win night number one of the Club Hotel. Easter Challenge here in round number six of the Ultimate Sprint Car Championship. The top two in the series finish one and two tonight on Good Friday. And what a drive from Lockie McHugh. In the Lee Smith Yards, NQ7 for Western Truck Group. Come on, to woman, make some noise. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what a ripper. Make some noise for your winner tonight, Lockie McHugh. Oh, the NQ7. Another win here at Toowoomba. Home in third place, Cody Moroski will get him up very quickly. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, make some noise. Home in third tonight, the SRV number 27 of Cody Moroski. Oh, brother, that was a show and a half. Yeah, man, that was... Uh, I knew if I didn't get the start it'd, it, for that first sort of half of the race, it'd be hard with, with such um, clean air, fast laps, good car speed from the, the leaders. Um, so I'm a bit, a bit ashamed that we didn't get the start there. And I, I know clean air, we would have had the pace to to uh, lead, the, lead the feature for a while. But um, man, that got exciting with probably 15, 20 to go. Um, everyone was dicing and I didn't realize I dropped two spots and the leaders are only, I don't know, 50 meters ahead of me. So uh, it was, yeah, pretty crazy racing. Once again, Toowoomba's turning it on and it with absolute awesome racing. And um, yeah, it's a pleasure to be a part of it. And massive thanks to SRV Road Freight, Errol, all the team, uh, can't do without them. It was a dog fight. There was no other way to describe it. Yeah, man, that was 90% on the throttle. <laughs> 100% uh, commitment and um, hoping someone makes a mistake or a lap car gets in the way. Um, but yeah, that was awesome fun and I uh, guess we'll be back Sunday to have another crack. Congratulations, mate. Well done on third place. Yeah, thank you. What a cracker night for Katie Moroski. Home in second, ladies and gentlemen, the little Tassie Tiger. Make some noise for Jock Goodger. Congratulations, my man. Jump in there, grab that trophy. Look up into that camera and brother, again, the battle between yourself and this bloke behind you, uh, just well and truly with the money coming to Toowoomba. Yeah, no, I um, struggled a little bit there earlier on, but um, got there in the end. Felt like I probably had the car to beat by the end of the race, to tell you the honest truth. But um, I don't know, pretty happy with what we've um, to come from what we had. All our stuff went under water and that, so we had to rebuild this thing two days ago. And um, just thankful for the people that come and give me a hand to get this thing out there. And... Um, Obviously, Buzzy coming over, like, lend their hand to actually get us back out of here. Uh, Jack Barry, Kip for loaning us the trailer, and um, just all the sponsors, all the boys over there, Scott, Ian, um, Lewis, Dad, everyone in there that gives me a hand. It's just a big team effort. It's a big weekend, isn't it? Three nights in a row. It's uh, especially two weeks out from an Australian title. Yeah, no, nah, these Easter trails are pretty cool. I loved it. Actually got the one down in Victoria last year, so it's um no, it's, I love them three nights straight. If you don't run good, you get to come back the next night, which is the best bit. But um, no, nah, I feel like we really got a bit of pace, and um, we'll roll on tomorrow. Job well done, mate. Congratulations on second place. Thank you. Jock Goodger home in second. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he is the master of T-bar. Make some noise for Lucky McHugh. Well done, my boy. Man, uh, Jesse Attard was putting on the show. I mean. Was he really that quick or were you just having a bit of a play with him or what was the go there? 
Uh, no, he was, um, yeah, he had some good speed. I think we could match him there. Um, yeah, I got past him twice, and both times the yellow came out and had to go back behind him. But, um, yeah, managed to get past him in the end there, and I saw Jock having a poke at me a couple times there, and I figured he must have been running the bottom up here, so switched my line up there for the last five or so laps, and, uh, yeah, felt pretty good. This thing was wicked quick all night, wasn't it? Not just the car, but the track was phenomenal. Yeah, the track ended up being pretty racy there for the feature. I didn't think it was going to be that good when we were doing nearly lap record times in the shootout. You didn't think the feature was going to be that good, but, yeah, put on a hell of a show, and, uh, yeah, well done to Cody and Jock for their podiums as well, and thanks to all my guys, Nick, Nathan, Jack, Brooke, and everyone else that helps us out on this uh, Lee Smith Yachts NQ7. Mate, it's, uh, it's always great to catch up with you but uh, at, in Victory Lane, but a sensational crowd for night one. Another two nights to come. Uh, what's lucky McHugh got in the bag? Yeah, no, great crowd tonight. Hopefully we get a similar crowd on Sunday. Everyone stuck it out through the cold. And, yeah, hopefully we get a, another Ripper race on Sunday. And, yeah, hopefully we can be up the pointy end again. Always great to catch up with you on the top step, mate. Thank you. Lockie McHugh gets the win, makes some noise for your podium to warm up.